Welcome to Good Mythical More. We've got tweets from you, which we will keep anonymous so as not to cause more trouble than is already existing. But this is best friend conflicts. We're gonna solve them. And we're gonna see if we can solve them or help you figure out if it's worth solving. But first, let's donate $1,000 to stand up to cancer to aid in their mission to raise funds to accelerate the pace of groundbreaking research that can get new therapies to patients quickly. Stand Up to Cancer brings together the best and the brightest researchers and mandates collaboration among the cancer community. Please join us in giving at standuptocancer.org slash Rhett and Link. We can all get behind that cause. Yes, thank you for being your mythical best. You know? So un these are Unless you, you are cancer. I guess cancer oh itself gosh. cannot the get only, behind the cause. All right. All right. Uh, th these aren't really conflicts per se. They're more like these friends don't like something about their best okay. friend. Right. Best friend annoyances, got it. Yeah, so the first one is, he's got this habit where he looks at someone else in the group and while maintaining eye contact, asks a different member in the group a question. I'm pretty sure it's a mind game. Wow. Wow. That's strange. If it happens so often that you have noticed it and noted it to the point that you're willing to point it out in a tweet. Stevie, have you ever experienced this before? <laughs> now see, okay, this is interesting when you did that. Now obviously you can't currently see Stevie because she's behind the, her big Stevie curtain. Um, but. It seemed like an accusation. I, what would happen typically in that social situation is that you would be asking Stevie something like, you know this question I gotta ask Stevie, like Stevie, do you know what I'm talking about? Like if I look at you, don't you get the, to me I felt pressure that like, oh, Link wants, he knows that I want him to ask Stevie this question. Like it was a weird sort of like manipulative thing. So I do think it's a mind game. I don't think it's a bad habit, I think it's a mind game. Yeah, it seems like something your brother would do to screw with people in a group. Cause he's a mind game master. Maybe this is my brother's best friend. Sending in this tweet. He is, you know, he is kind of a mind game master in social settings. Like there's is inexplicably puts you off your wow. off your game. Well, he senses easy targets. It why, seems why like are you looking something... at me when you're talking about I talking, I was I was talking about Stevie, but looking Man, at Man, this is it, this is strange. It seems like something that he that is purposeful though. Right. So like if this dude were to say like, you know, you do this. Then his friend would be like, "Yeah, I know, I do yeah, it I do because it. I'm yeah. doing it." I don't think this is a difficult thing to bring up because it's because it's kind of like, "Hey, I wanted to," because you don't have to come at it with like it pisses me off or anything. It's like, I wanted to ask you about something I've noticed. Like, is it like, are you doing it on purpose? Because it's fascinating. You can come with this whole fascination factor and then get to the bottom of it. And then when they say, "Yeah, I do that for this reason," you'd be like, "Well, maybe you shouldn't." Then you could get confrontation. <laughs> or just say, "Well, we're not friends anymore." I think this might be. Uh... The end of a best friendship. Oh, and by the way, don't we need to get through like 15 of these? Because what was the- Yeah, this is, yeah, we gotta uh, go. Oh, this is an quickly. official I, AI. Can I tell AI? you, the smell of toothpaste is overwhelming it's right now. It's not a bad now. thing though. Yeah, we've been wasting it's it. It's overwhelming. Yeah, it's it's my pants. Um, My best friend is my husband. He eats weirdly. When he eats ice cream or yogurt, he leaves a bit on the spoon. I cannot stand that he lips at the spoon like a baby deer or something. Sound familiar, Link? He also bangs his fork against the plate so loud it drives me bonkers. Hell, this is Christy. Does Christy have a Twitter? Because you do both of those things. She does not. I mean, it says sound familiar link. Your utensil sounds are very, uh, so this is really, my best friend is- I say get over his it. link. Um, and he does both of these things. And I, uh, I just point it out for comedy most of the time, uh, but n at no point am I gonna be like, hey, you need to stop doing that. It's just every time you do it, it's going to be weird. It's going to freak most normal people out, and I'm going to mention it. It's just that's the beautiful arrangement. Like leaving something on the spoon, to me, is different than the banging the fork on the plate. And because, what is the difference? Because one, you can just like not watch someone eat something, versus like, like you're not going to like stop up your ears every time you're with your husband eating. It's hard not to watch somebody eat when they're doing something strange while they're eating, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard not to notice it. It's like. Uh, what, there, uh, there's still a bunch of cream on your spoon that your mouth just touched. When you when you eat a, 
a, a cone of ice cream, you don't <gasps> eat the whole thing at once. You, you eat some of it, you like lick it or like get the end of it and there's some left. Right. I you, do that but it's on a spoon. But you control the amount of ice cream that the spoon procures every time. So, so as the to amount. minimize the amount, I, I cut my number of scoops in half. Yeah, but you make it uncomfortable for everyone else for your own benefit. That is what you're admitting right now, which is okay if that's the case. Um, you do less spoonage for yourself to save time or effort so that everyone else can be weirded out. I'm just saying. I just, based on this here. conversation, I would not bring this up with your husband. Uh, I didn't bring <laughs> I it would, up. I would avoid bringing this up with your husband. <laughs> I really Maybe like to eat that advice? way, but I would I would stop banging my fork. That's that's what I'm saying. I care about my friend and would give my life for him. He was there for me when my dad passed, but I hate that he never wears shoes like anywhere unless he has no choice. He doesn't wear them in McDee's, Walmart, or even in classes. He's just barefoot all the time. I still love him. Hmm. This is honestly, this is the kind of thing that if this was somebody who's a really good friend and you're with them all the time, it sort of feels like if you're in a McDonald's or a Walmart without shoes, you're technically violating the policy. Well, it's no shirt, no shoes, no service. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the reason why there's a sign for it. And so to me, there's an embarrassment factor of, and I may be overly sensitive to this, but if somebody who, who's with me is doing something that draws attention and makes people draw conclusions about them. I just don't like to draw attention in that way. So if you're doing that, I won't, I'm gonna say, hey man, if we're going into Walmart, either let's split up, you go to the produce and I'll go to the toys. <laughs> if there's no real, yeah, like or if there's no real, if there's not a medical reason or at least some sort of reason, it's just, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Isn't this why Crocs weird. exist for people who just wanna not wear shoes? Can you please tell me that this is on another level than eating half the ice cream off my spoon? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is. It is, right? It's a, it's a notch up. I mean, a big notch up. I mean, to be fair, there's probably many a, many a person in Walmart without shoes on. <laughs> well, that's true. You know. Yeah, uh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta talk to I, I don't like, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. this. Uh, next. Yes, no matter where we are, at work, at a fancy restaurant, at a funeral, this dude will randomly walk around the place and crop dust as if it's totally normal. He thinks no one notices, but the horrified faces I've seen basking in his ambiance is telling. Yeah, ambiance. That's, just, that's just uncouth. <laughs> I'm not saying I haven't done it, but like... <laughs> It's not, it's not part of my brand. I'm if you're doing this enough for it to be a normal thing, that like, oh, here we are, in a crowd, Rob's gonna crop dust. Yeah, it's just like. That's, that's I, I next think, level. I, yeah, I really think that like, f you, you know, it's just like, hey, I can still be your friend, but I'm not gonna go out in public with you. Or I'm not gonna hang out with you at all because I don't want to smell you, what you do. So, I just think it's, yeah, it's just that, it's, that's really inconsiderate. I'm you know just how disturbed. I think maybe we should be thinking about this is like, is this a is this a best friend breaker? Is this a relationship ender? Yeah, I I think I think this is like it's like you know you don't want to oh gosh you said uh, yeah if this guy is farting it's an ultimate you give an ultimatum yeah all the time in public places it's honestly unless there's a me a pre existing medical condition right and we don't have to say that anymore. We'll just assume that there's not, but if there is, then yes, all bets are off with medical Then conditions. I think that you do have control over whether or not you fart. You do, you do. I, I can't help it. I've held it you in painfully. probably can. It's amazing you how it'd be like, can. oh, that's so painful, and then all of a sudden, I didn't fart, but it, where did it go? Yeah, yeah, right, it goes into the ether. <laughs> okay, the we're moving never slow come. here. No, is this like the 20 minute fart? Okay, thank you for stopping it. Okay, this one is similar. The way they smell, it drives me crazy sometimes. I.e., whenever they ask me if they smell bad or not, I always say that they smell just fine, even though they smell horrendous. Nope, that's your problem. I feel then. bad, but at the same time, I have a pretty sensitive nose, so maybe it's not as bad as I think. No, if they, someone's if asking if, if they, they smell, they ask you. That's your. That's your. Listen, 
every once in a while, you'll be with someone who is like, they've made a recent deodorant switch or something that's not quite working and they don't yet know that they stink. Yeah. I Tell typically it. don't have it in me to say something without them asking. Just, I'll just be honest with you. I'm very non-confrontational in that way. However, if they ask you, that is your, that's the door to walk through. You gotta walk through that door and say, yes, you stink. I've been waiting to tell you for weeks. Yep. Thanks for asking. I feel like we're being really negative. So to, to, to uh, put a positive spin on things, I wanna remind you that we have a game that that's we right. have developed mm -hmm. called We're Still Good. Uh, it puts a positive spin on really ridiculous situations. So it might be, oh, your friend stinks really, really bad and smells like a fill in the blank. And then you would grab one of the word cards yeah. and you would fill it in with something like. Missing word. Watermelon, watermelon sports, sports drink. drink. So if you had a friend who smelled like watermelon Mutant sports drink. Mutant cockroaches. What might be a positive spin on that? A terrifying St. Bernard. Oh, if it's a watermelon sports drink? Yeah. I didn't hear the first part. If you had a friend who smelled like a watermelon sports drink, we're still good because I'm hella thirsty. <laughs> See, there you go. It's that simple. And you would choose who- It's a lot who, of fun. You choose who gets the token. Uh, get it at walmart.com. With your shoes on. Or with your shoes off at dot .com or select Walmart stores. With your shoes on. With your shoes on to join in on the fun, all right? Oh, pew. Uh, my best friend, also boyfriend, rubs his legs together while he sleeps like a cricket. This has caused yeah. our sheets to rip where he does it. Should I tell him? Not much he can do about it than that emoji the with the The sheets are ripping? How, what kind of friction are we generating sheets? here? <laughs> Should you tell him? Should you try to change him? No. It's just, you know, whatever, whatever gets you to sleep. My I mean, wife does the cricket legs. I do the cricket feet, but she has never, never broken the sheets. Man, that, I mean that's aggressive, but like, just, just tell him he's got to buy more sheets. Next, uh, my best friend has the weirdest eating combinations. One huge example that she thinks that it's acceptable to sour cream on everything. <laughs> this seems like it's being used as a verb. Yeah, it sounds she like it. She puts sour a totally cream different thing. on a cosmic brownie and said it's good. Are you creaming on that? No, I'm sour creaming on it. It comes from a different place. <laughs> Again, it, 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 this is totally fine. Do what you wanna do with your own food. I am a champion of preferences. Good, that's, that's for sure. I also don't think this is a huge example. It's not nope. that weird. It's not. I actually, it sounds pretty good to be honest with you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Sweet and sour. You need to wash your hands after you pee because if you touch the toilet to flush it, your hands are dirty, even if you don't touch your genitals. Yeah. I guess this is, they're talking about their best friend here. Yeah. <laughs> Does it yeah. end with right? Because that's the way I, like, yes. they're talking about themselves. You're right. It's actually much worse to touch the toilet than it is your genitals. Your genitals are one of the cleaner parts of that's your body. The tweet, that's the tweeter's point, and we agree. He's always three episodes behind on GMM, but watches it daily. So I can't discuss, but watches it daily, but I watch it daily. So yeah, I can't three discuss days the he's freaking three days behind. He's offset. episodes with him on the day they come out. I have to wait until he finally watches it three days later. It infuriates me. Oh, this man. This feels like, hey, let's do a little three episode marathon tonight. Yeah, you gotta, get, it, you gotta get in sync. Yeah. Just, just like periods. Uh -huh. it's, it's easier that way. Yep, yep. Uh, this is not in relation to periods. You wanna talk about late? My best friend from first grade has never been on time for anything. Graduations, parties, reunions, my wedding, and he was the best man. Mm. But he is on time religiously for wing night on Thursday. <laughs> Put this guy on blast, Red and Link. Well, I don't know. Maybe. But remember how I would be the one, I, I had this thing about being late in college with a lot of our college friends, and I would be like, hurry up everybody, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. And I think I went a little too far, but I was very fixated on like. Well, hurry up everybody, like give me an example. Any Anything I don't that, remember this. Every single thing we had to go to, like getting the three roommates, Rhett, Greg, and Tim to like mobilize, be like, come on, we gotta, we gotta be there. It's, it's it's disrespectful. 
Well, I think more than anything, and I mean, listen, I don't want to, you know, I'm not a super organized person, and I can be late sometimes. Not, I'm definitely not chronically late. Yeah, but all the time. That's, uh, that's. But I do think that la- lateness is. I would be more specific about that. And I'm sorry to call out your friend, but I would say that more times than not, lateness is about selfishness. Right. It's like it's selfish. It's like whatever you got going on is not as important as me and what I got going on. And so it oh, might, when you want your wings and it might be like, oh, well, it's ADHD or it's this or it's that. It's like, well, maybe in some cases. But my observation anecdotally is that is all it is often about selfishness. So, you know, this may say more than it just may, especially wait late for your wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more important than everybody else. And times not to be late. You know, you can be late perhaps for wing night on Thursday. That would be an the acceptable one thing place that to be not, late. Yeah. 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 Sorry. We've been best friends for a few years now. She lives in North Carolina and I live in Oregon. Even with the distance, I know how she eats her Cheetos. She eats them like a corn on the cob, and I still can't get over it. Do you think this is an acceptable preference? I'll let you speak to it. I mean, I got to come up with something. I got to come up with doing, eating something in a way that annoys you so you can see how it feels like. I'm going to start eating Cheetos like corn. (laughs) I don't, I just don't, I don't look at people when they're eating. I don't, maybe it's just, maybe you do lots of stuff, but I just don't notice. You feel like that is an acceptable way to eat something in front of another human being? It's weird. I think you can do that in the privacy of your own home. Mm. But why would you like invite someone over and go watch me eat these Cheetos like corn? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I'm a, I gotta stay out of this. One. I, <laughs> I gotta stay out of this. I just don't. I haven't earned the right. Um, yeah, it's just tough, man. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Like I said, I don't try to. Uh, I I don't request that Link changes the way that he does things. I just try to distance. My- this is myself from This him. should make you feel, but I don't do uh, that. But also we like do a show where there's lots of eating. And so I mean, some of it is just, you gotta just, it's just, you gotta just ignore it, I guess. He refuses to watch movies made before 1990. Animated Disney films are the only exception. If it's black and white, it may as well not exist at all. Classy. <laughs> Why? Uh, I understand... Sometimes people really want to watch really old movies, like from the like beginning of Hollywood. Um, always a let. I've always been a little bit like, ah, really, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I have when I after ever since I watched It's a Wonderful Life and realized it's actually good. Uh, having never watched it until last Christmas, I mean, I was like, oh, maybe there is something here. Maybe they used to make good movies. Yeah, I mean, it, it it does come across as a little narrow-minded, but uh, I don't know. It's like, it's just a, it really is a question of how passionate is the is the tweeter, the friend about cinema. And know? this is different than eating because this is something you're ostensibly doing together. Like, hey, let's watch a movie. Nothing before 1990. Let's just a Disney princess. You know, like right. yeah, yeah, I think you got to talk about this. I think you got to say, it's, it's how important is cinema to you? Yeah. He doesn't like beans. Like, what's not to love about them? They can be used and made into a lot of different things. But no, he hates them. I it's could, the pettiest thing I dislike about him. It's fine. I think that's fine. I mean, I, 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 I could take or leave beans. I mean, yes, he's wrong, but it's okay. People don't have to be right about everything, you know? You can't expect, you can't expect your friends to be have all the right preferences, I mean, that's unrealistic. They have an Instagram account for every dog they own, except their first one, who's 17, toothless and blind, go (laughs) figure, where they talk as their dog in a baby voice. So they voice over all of their dogs except for the old one? Except for the one that's not got a good runway ahead of it. You know what I'm saying? You really start getting traction on that 17-year-old toothless and blind dog, it's gonna become a memorial account pretty fast. I mean, I don't think you have to follow your friend's annoying voiceover dog Instagram account. If it's a roommate and they're doing the annoying voices like in the room next to you. That's tough. That's different. If they're like producing these videos in your living space, that Just might be worth a conversation. Respectfully unfollow otherwise though. You have an and out. And 
finally, he's blonde. <laughs> Stevie, what do you think about this? He's blonde. Um, you know, there's hair dye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, could you please dye your hair? I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, this That's, is, uh, feels a little uh, over. Uh, I don't want to reveal the, uh, the screen name here, but they do have a bean emoji uh, involved and and a, and a bean. playful icon. You know what? I've, I there's no. It's a. <laughs> you speak in you speak in English again? Gizo you. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up our game. We're still good at walmart.com and select Walmart stores near you.